So this is my work in progress of the painting I called Mistakes. I wanted to do a picture of something that basically you know exact moment you've made the mistake and so I wanted to create a beholder where the beholder was being summoned and the earth is ripping apart and there's another beholder under the ground. And the first thing I did, the first thing I did was added in the this foggy background where it's kind of the smoke coming up from the earth type of thing. Um, I wanted the spell circle to be kind of a background element, but I still wanted it to be kind of that precise element. Um, I grabbed my reference image from a hyper angle magazine and I kind of pieced it together. And so you can see me painting the background with kind of just a gray tone and I'm smudging it out working with that sort of thing and then I'm coming in and building in the kind of base ground and I wanted it a nice dark kind of rocky color then what I'm doing is you know building in the sides and I I think I should have gone a little bit darker or kind of reverse this but I wanted the idea of the light showing the edge so I wanted this kind of juxtaposition of where you're seeing it. And I'm actually starting to use a palette knife a little bit more and kind of adding in a little bit more scrapes and tone which adds in some nice randomness as well. And then what I'm doing is I'm painting the eyeball. I found a great reference picture of like a micro photo of the, like an eye and it was zoomed in so far that you actually saw like the muscles contracting and so I really wanted that aspect of what it looked like there and then as I'm painting this I'm trying to kind of maintain a value where she's the uh, most important part so she's once I want her to pop out the most so as I continue to paint this I'm, I'm putting in as much details I'm trying not to do so much of an underpainting uh, more or less trying to get the base colors and, and things like that in there. Um, here you can see me painting the, you know, the whites of the eye, if, you, if that makes sense. And from here, I'm starting to just kind of brush in the base color. I wanted it to be kind of orange, and I wanted it to match the beholder that's in our hands. And so a lot of like little definition, so I'm using a little brush to paint this in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work on the candles and I was thinking about making this like a, a, a valid light source and fortunately I didn't want to put in something that like overpowered the whole piece. So I went in and put in a little bit more of the bright white uh, for this magical circle and the problem I, I was having was ultimately the magic circle was just too bright. I used a little bit of a napkin to smudge things upward to give it kind of that glow effect and then kind of built up and, and kind of painted accordingly. And I wanted a little bit more of the background to be a darker tone. So I put in just a real quick layer of blue uh, with some browns to kind of push that in the background. And I think it still was too bright at this point. Uh, but I wanted to see how the color of the skin would look as I painted it in. Then I basically went through and painted the base tone of skin on, uh, just using a highlight and a dark. And then with it wet, I went in and started adding some darker browns to ultimately give it a little bit more of the shading. And I'm using the shading from my reference image and going from there. So as it as I continue to work, I'm, I'm really pushing more and more of the darks into her skin. Um, I didn't want her to be super pale, but I also didn't want it to be um, super dark either. So I'm kind of picking those mid-tones in. And I'm working from a black and white reference, so I'm kind of having to go back and forth between some, some skin tone references that I found and grab in those color references. So then I'm working on her face. I'm basically working in trying to get the lights and darks and trying to get the values and that expression. I'm trying to put more expression in my characters' faces. And so as I'm doing this, I'm using the 
light sources reference and kind of building up and kind of painting around there. All right, now I'm going back and adding in the golds. Um, I'm using a lot of burnt uh, sienna and raw umber, as well as uh, my brilliant yellows and then whites and mixing those together. Um, a lot of that is ultimately just fine detail work and it's ultimately just going through and kind of doing each one by itself. <clears throat> a big thing I... <clears throat> the big thing that I have to do is make sure that everything kind of lights up the same and make sure that everything kind of works from that standpoint. And then once that's done, I'm going in and kind of tweaking in skin, adding a little bit more shadows, adding in a little bit more darks, and kind of roughing out the detail here and there. Um, I haven't really done the chest at this point because I'm still not figuring, I'm still kind of figuring it out. I'm going in and adding in the orange color I wanted for the uh, tentacles and the, the main beholder. And as I kind of go through and do that, I'm just adding in again dark shadows. I'm trying to keep uh, that the browns consistent, and I'm adding a little bit of blue in there to add a little bit of a layer effect. Now, as I'm painting, I'm really struggling with the light and shadows of this. Um, it's feeling too kind of uh, blase. And so, what I do instead is go through and create a 3D mock-up of the tentacles with the figure and the shadows of the, the beholder and so that allows me to kind of go in and actually create actual lighting uh, a lighting solution and that makes a lot more sense to me <clears throat> so with that in mind you can see i'm just adding in details like teeth and iris stuff and, and kind of those types of things and trying to get the character to pop out a little bit more i'm struggling with the blue is a little bit too much the same value as the skin which is is too much the same as the lighting and so one of the things that i do is i add a little bit of a, a wash on top of the lighting which gives me basically a brown tone to mute the lighting and turn it a little bit more desaturated and as I go through, you can see I'm just adding in like more detail, adding in the, the breasts and stuff like that as far as, you know, the, the bikini that she's wearing. And then again, I'm going in back and trying to mute those, that blue, so that it's not as bright, not as saturated. And that's really helping me push the character forward. And as you can see, I'm doing that a little bit here and there. Now... I'm putting in more detail into the face and kind of rounding out the skin. I'm trying to get that form uh, working well for the skin and trying to build that up as well. White shapes for the nose felt a little bit more like pig-like, and so I'm adding in the different kind of aspects around that. And then at this point in time, I'm I'm. You know, adding in more details, adding in textures in the beholder itself, going through and adding more of the, the just the light and shape and trying to get more form in there. And here's where I go in and start fixing the lighting and shadow of the original character. I ultimately am going through and kind of adding in a little bit more depth as I kind of work with that still trying to push out the body uh, from the background and so you'll see me here add in a little bit of uh, darkness around the edges of the character just to push her out a little bit more. I'm also adding in highlights, um, bright whites and I'm between sessions I'm letting the paint dry enough that I can paint on top of it without any real major issues. I'm also pulling out the hair to you know give a little bit more highlights on those shapes as well as kind of jumping all over the place and adding in a little bit more detail here and there. And I'm just kind of going through right now and just <clears throat> taking a real small brush and kind of building up that aspect. Um, and here's where I use the 3D reference and kind of 
push that out so you can see adding a little bit of a, a shadow onto the back tentacle gives it a little bit more 3d effect like the shadow of the tentacle is casting on top of itself um, and so that adds adds quite a bit more i'm also adding in a little bit of uh, pieces and i had this uh, dark space underneath the pelvis and it was just too dark and it was pushing so i needed to lighten that up and you can see me um, kind of pushing that in and out I'm also adding in texture in the ground, and that's sometimes it's just a line, sometimes it's uh, a little bit of, you know, uh, bits and pieces. And I'm also darkening the edges, and I'm smudging in the back. You can see right here that I'm smudging a darker tone just to pull out more and more of my uh, form of the body, you know, pulling it forward a little bit more. And I'm also adding in a little bit of shadows onto the ground from the candle in multi directions to give it that that light uh, source kind of aspect and then again you can see me here kind of painting outside the figure just to kind of push it into the background a little bit more and adding a little bit more highlights into the hair and you know, a little bit more texture and things going back and forth and it's really just more of a process uh, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm just pushing in darkers, uh, you know, darker forms in order to kind of make things pop a little bit. I generally don't use black until the last minute, and that's ultimately where my painting comes up. And so you can see I'm, I'm pretty much finished here. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and feel free to subscribe and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys later.